The holy grail for mankind is to dominate the world and demonstrate their superiority to others. It's like being the king of the world when you have the sense of greatness, power, and the capacity to alter how the world works. You can arguably control everything. Let's take a moment to visit a distant galaxy to discover what you could actually control. Nothing, absolutely nothing. The Earth moves in space as it should, obeying the laws of physics as it goes about its daily routine. Some stars are constantly taking birth, some leave a massive nebula following a great supernova explosion, while others choose to spend their final years as black holes sucking up matter coldly throughout the cosmos, without discriminating. The truth is that nothing in the cosmos is within human control. This is known as the overview effect in psychology. The overview effect is a cognitive shift in awareness reported by some astronauts during spaceflight, often while viewing the Earth from outer space. The artistic appearance of the globe suspended in space with a pitch-black background rapidly brings home the fact that, in comparison to the infinite, eternal cosmos, we humans are but a speck of dust, or perhaps even smaller. We just exist because of the accidental arrangement of cells that happened millions of years ago, collectively called life. Yet we still believe that we are at the center of everything. Isn't the universe simply amazing? To imagine the idea that we are all formed of the same substances that make up our world is undoubtedly stunning. Since the inception of mankind, humans have debated over the question, who or what put us here? There is always an active debate over the universe's creation. Some people think that the origin of human existence on Earth was caused by a superhuman, almighty, and eternal being. Others believe that a Big Bang is how the world as we know it began. Even though this hypothesis is heavily contested, it is quite broadly accepted. However, the reason for the universe's existence is a crucial philosophical question that outweighs the first one. Why does the universe exist? Why is there something rather than nothing? Join us as we dive into the intriguing theory about the existence of the universe. Since the dawn of civilization, humans have attempted to solve the puzzle of their existence. Early humans thought that someone in the far reaches of the sky governed their behavior, and that the world only worked as it did as a result of him. They gave sacrifices that included animals and, in some cases, human lives. The universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. As quoted by Neil deGrasse Tyson himself, the universe always raises more questions than it answers, he stated further. Imagine a world with no laws of physics. It would be so much easier for us to venture into space without thinking about the restrictions imposed by gravity on us. No physical laws mean we would finally be able to travel faster than light. But wouldn't it have been even more simpler if nothing existed? No Earth, no Moon, no stars, no space absolutely nothing whatsoever. Things would be so much simpler avoiding all complexities. This is exactly what Leibniz, a 17th century thinker and the father of modern-day calculus thought. He believed that this question of why is there something rather than nothing deserved an explanation. His intriguing query had one intriguing response. God. That's right, God created the universe. God wanted to design the most ideal universe he could. He made this out of nothing. That is how strong the God is. He doesn't require any pre-existing materials to create a planet. However, as the world got more secular and the number of agnostics grew, his argument for God being the creator of the universe lost its shimmer. Many other scientists have proposed theories for the universe's existence. Einstein, 17th century philosopher Spinoza, and theoretical physicist Lawrence Cross are the others who voiced their ideas. Although their proposed solutions were very good, none of them ever came close to providing the answer we were looking for. Let's go back to the beginning of everything so we can determine the answer to this question for ourselves. 
There must have been a time when nothing existed at all. No time, no observers, no matter, nothing. Simply huge emptiness. Assuming that the Big Bang did occur as theorized by physicists, the universe would have ended up somewhere in the middle of this spectrum. This spectrum contains two ends. The first end is entirely empty, while the second end is completely random and devoid of any laws or order. It's definite that somewhere in the center of both of them is where our universe is. We enjoy the orderliness of things that happen due to cause and effect. We appreciate that when we use online payments to pay our bills, the money goes exactly where it should and doesn't end up on someone else's account. However, we detest it when things don't go our way. The world we live in is unluckily not ideal. There are diseases, there are sufferings, miseries, and there is death. On the other hand, there are a lot of amazing things you may want to be a part of. There is also generosity, adventure, pleasure, and love. It's quite hard to understand how life could ever exist in complete anarchy. Life as we know it requires order and energy to grow, thrive, and make more of itself. It requires some stability, some fundamental characteristics that hold up throughout time. Events must be able to occur in time in such a cosmos. Contemplate for a second whether you would survive in a world of pure happiness or total pain that exists for the rest of your life. That's right, we would not have existed in either scenario. So our world is definitely somewhere in between both of them. Our world is just one of the several others that coexist with these universes somewhere between them. There might have been innumerable universes before us, and there may be countless universes after us, but we are simply stuck on this one. Trying to go about our daily lives, forming relationships, friendships, going through difficult times, finding our way to our goals, and managing to understand and communicate with one another. If you believe that the universe was made specifically for you, spend a short amount of time outside the planet without a spacesuit or going close to a black hole. It's possible that existence is unavoidable, nothing is improbable, and if that's the case, we should be prepared for the ordinary, unexceptional world we currently inhabit. And especially, it exists for us because we have the knowledge, consciousness, intelligence, and luxury of being here to ask the question of why are we here. What are your thoughts about it? Why do you think something exists as opposed to nothing? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thank you for taking the time to view this video, I hope you really liked it. Consider subscribing to the channel if you liked the video, and as always, thanks for watching.